Hi everyone. So today, like, I'm going to explain about uh, how the concept of risk analysis process uh, works uh, in GRC. Primarily, like, I'm not going to speak about what is all said, what is function, what is action, and so on. So, like, we are all aware of it. And the the video, uh, the primary objective of this video is to explain, like, we have a risk and we want to apply mitigation assignment for that particular risk. So what are all the different options which we have and how we can leverage this option and choose the best option which is uh, possible uh, based on our requirement. And most of the time, what we have seen is the one which I've just described in the first point. So as you can see here in this particular workflow, like assume I have a risk in uh, one of the stage, like have enabled the the risk mandatory risk analysis stage in role owner, for example. So now, like I want to run the risk analysis, and uh, once I complete the risk analysis after the role owner stage, I got to know that uh, there is a risk exist. So either I can go back to uh, the detour path, so I can just route my request to the detour path and carry out the risk owner stage. And primarily in the risk owner stage, the risk owner will just apply the mitigation assignment uh, based on the information and based on the knowledge what uh, he has. And the mitigation assignment will get applied directly. Rather than this, so there is one more uh, specific workflow, which is primarily meant for mitigation assignment workflow. And as you can see here on the option two, like whenever like we have the risk identified, so it is good and it is uh, better to go for a complete mitigation assignment workflow where the mitigation assignment will not get added as soon as we just go and apply a mitigation assignment or a mitigation control to a particular request rather the applying of a specific mitigation to the risk itself will be driven through a couple of uh, workflow workflows uh, by itself where like we can have stages like business process owner we can have business unit uh, owner and so on. And that is a part of the mitigation assignment workflow. So the challenge in most of the cases, like what uh, we have, so we need to have two different workflow processes, uh, which needs to run parallelly independent of each other. Like for your VRM request, when we have a risk, then we just go and mitigate it. And we don't follow the mitigation assignment workflow. And when we are in, doing a mitigation assignment workflow, the request uh, from the ARM is not connected. And uh, that's what the third point is all about. The one of the important functionality of uh, GRC 12.0 SP8, SAP has introduced a functionality where we can see the link between the mitigation assignment workflow and the ARM workflow in the audit log. Meaning, like in this particular stage, I found that there is a risk and I want to apply the mitigation control. So instead of applying the mitigation control directly, I can go here and I can apply it. And subsequently for this particular request will behave as a child for this particular request. And this information is already available. But the challenge like what we have in that solution is again, two workflows are separate and they are not interconnected to one another, meaning as soon as the mitigation assignment workflow is completed, still requester needs to go and he or she needs to apply this mitigation control manually in the system. And that's where data map solution or data map technologies are a solution to handle this particular requirement is like this. Once we have the mitigation assignment workflow completed, automatically we will assign this particular mitigation control to the access request. And most of the time, Mitigation assignment will be the last stage of the workflow and the access request will auto complete, meaning the requester no need to go and submit the request again or uh, reroute the request again to, to the next stage. Rather, we integrated the ARM process and the mitigation assignment process with the two different processes in standard SAP and we integrated uh, this together so that any changes in one process will drive the other process workflow seamless. Thank you.